This is a fixed review. So I figured I would do a fixed review, being that I haven't actually had a reason to use it yet. As you can see, it's a very simple product. Literally just the dongle inside the box with a few instructions. All you're gonna do is take it out of the box, plug it into your OBD2, wherever that is located in your car. For mine, it's right next to my clutch pedal. Plug it in. There's normally a little blue indicator light that will be flashing when it is in use. So from here on out, you're gonna see me doing some screen recording of the actual app in usage. There are six different boxes or categories that you can click on in the app. As you'll see, a lot of these are actually the premium versions, so I don't actually have access to use them or see them, but this will give you a good idea of what some of these things look like within the app. So as you can see, there's a lot of additional diagnostics that you can go through to actually help you fix your car. Some of these are a paid for premium feature, which I don't prefer personally, but hey, it is what it is. It'll even recommend repair shops in your local area close to you. It'll also give you reviews. And you can obviously get directions and call them, which is a great feature. This is Jerry. This is gonna be a, a car insurance feature through the app. Also, you can set up your vehicle's maintenance history and see what should have been done at the specific mileage. Another great feature on this maintenance page is you can set reminders for things like your battery or your tires to get them rotated or have a new battery installed at a specific time. Another great feature about this app is there is a zero to 60 timer with the timing tree. It'll also give you your speed and obviously your seconds to 60. Another great thing are some live gauges that you can actively monitor when you're driving. This is me just doing a little acceleration run, seeing how much uh, engine load is being used at any given moment. Obviously RPMs and speed it's a nice little readout just to have in addition to what you can already see on your car. There's another part of the app called Dash Light Library. Great feature for people who aren't necessarily automotive minded. You can click on any one of these little diagrams and it'll show you and describe what that specific light is in your dashboard. You can click on things and it'll describe it in a greater detail as to what that is and does and why it's on in your car. For instance, the engine oil light, kind of a big one, kind of important to know what that does if you see that light turn on. ESP, electronic stability control. Next up is the settings. You can change things like your language, your miles or kilometers an hour. You can also set your password, email, small things like that that you would expect from an app like this. Weirdly enough, it's called your sensors, but this is where you can add more vehicles to your app. When you scan your car, this is what it's gonna come back with if you have no codes. In conclusion for the fixed OBD2 scanner, Number one, it's really cheap. Number two, it's easy to set up. Number three, it's got some pretty good functionality for being the base version without upgrading to the premium version. It's got zero to 60 timer. It's got gauges. It's also obviously got the OBD2 scanner where it'll scan your car for any codes and also give you some realistic ways to fix those options. It'll also give you a lot of other helpful advice I might do a follow-up video in the future if I do upgrade or do like a six-month update to see how realistic this is and how fun it is to use on a daily basis. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.